Hello, this is postuploader.com. We are SEO friendly blog post formatting and publishing expert. If you need our assistance to format and publish your blog post, we can do it perfectly for you. Just contact with us. Okay, let's jump into today's tutorial. Today I will guide how you can add pagination to your WordPress website or blog page like this. This pagination is coming from my theme default but if you are working with a theme which theme doesn't showing any pagination or you are working with any custom theme those theme has not any pagination then how you can add this pagination end of your blog page or search page or category page i mean everywhere you can display okay let's come to the dashboard i need to install a plugin i am going to add new plugin page after that search here with wp page in it this is the plugin i need to install and activate i am going to activate this plugin so this plugin already installed and activated this is the plugin after installing the plugin you have to visit settings page here we will get few custom option by using those custom option we can display pagination to our wordpress blog page category page or any pages let me show you step by step right now i am on settings page under settings page their first option is general and next is pagination level displaying by default pages for previous page they added the default text and next page they added another default text we don't need to add anything on those section i am coming to below section that is location and position first option is everywhere if i enable everywhere then below all of the option will be disabled that means all of the option will be enabled automatically if you enable everywhere but i don't want to show the presentation at my home page so i am not selecting the everywhere or home page but i need presentation on my blog page search page category page archive page but if you need everywhere you can select come to the next option that is the position by default here showing below the content but after installing this plugin to your website if it's showing function only then you have to change it to below the content i am selecting below the content next option is hide standard pagination if i enable this option it will hide the standard theme default pagination I am going to give a save change then let me show you what change I already got from those settings. If I give a refresh on my blog page, come to the down, you know my default theme pagination was this design and this pink color theme pagination is coming from my plugin WP pagination which plugin I already installed just a minute back but if i want to disable the default pagination in my plugin section have the settings just enable it hide the standard theme default pagination and save change and i am giving a refresh here you see default theme pagination already disappeared okay i am going to settings page again next option is appearance first option is pagination font and it's giving the inherit that means which font you are using for your theme those font will get automatically next is hide ellipses remove ellipses from the pagination link if you need to enable just give a tick from here and next option is button style right now it's showing the neon pink button but if you don't like this button you can enable gray button and give a save change and going to give a refresh on block section you see it's showing the gray button if you wish you can enable this one blue button or modern gray button all four will works as you want i am enabling the blue button 
and giving the same and going to give a refresh here it's working perfectly if i click on page 2 you see it's taking me to the page 2 so it's working perfectly come to the next settings that's the advanced settings before markup there has a deep class name i think we don't need to change anything from here and next is markup display show before markup and after markup even if the page list is empty if you wish you can give it tick or untick wp paginate css file i think those are option is default option we don't need to do anything here just save changes and next option is custom css if i click on custom css you will get a box where you can add custom css for that pagination function if you want to use custom css you can work from here i already explained all of the settings from wp paginet i believe after watching this tutorial you can easily add pagination to your wordpress website either it blog page category page search page or archive page that's not a matter you can add anywhere of your wordpress website today it's done if this video was helpful for you please subscribe my youtube channel and share this video and if you face any problem to add this pagination to your blog page just comment below i will be very happy to solve your problem Thank you.